DJs from around the country, are we ready? Yeah. And support groups from far afield, are we ready? Yeah. Absolutely, thank you everybody for coming. This absolutely has blown us away, it's phenomenal. We never ever thought that we would end up in this position with this many people from this many associations and organisations around the country. We are telling employees all over the country and especially those up there in their ivory tower that we're not going to sit back, we're not going away and we will fight this until we get a resolution that is right and fair for absolutely everybody. On the 16th of May 2016, the council voted to sack us on New Year's Eve and rehire us on New Year's Day. 57 voted for that proposal and all of those were Labour. Now this was heartbreaking for me because I've been a Labour voter since I was 18. And the Labour Party itself agreed a new decent living wage of £10 per hour. And yet here we had a Labour Council willing to cut mine to well below that. They made us feel undervalued. They made us feel as if what we did wasn't important. But it is. Every single teaching assistance makes a difference to a child's life and to teachers' lives. In unison, we voted against the proposal, but GMB accepted. I was in total shock that a union could actually advise their members to accept an offer of less than £10 per hour. The council have always said it's not about the budget, it's about equality. But since the suspension of the dismissal letters, experienced, qualified, caring teaching assistants have lost their jobs because the school budgets are cut. So you tell me, is it really about equality or is it about the budget? You have stood in solidarity with us, travelling to London with us to defend issues like the NHS. And we stand in solidarity with you now. As we know, you are still locked in dispute with Durham County Council. My faith in both Labour and the unions have, has been shaken, but my faith in humankind and positive changes increased tenfold because of our Durham teaching assistant family and the campaign we've run. As for being just teaching assistants, we're not. Who are we? been here before and was so inspired by the experience of the strike action in November when TA surrounded the county hall. They are both the present and the future of rebuilding the labour movement in this country. It's shocking and shameful that a labour-controlled council could even contemplate imposing pay cuts of that magnitude on women who do such valuable work supporting some of the most vulnerable kids in our society. We couldn't teach in, in, in our schools without the fantastic support that we get from our teaching assistants. And to find that, you know, we have teaching assistants here in Durham who are facing up to 23% pay cuts simply to save money and shave money off the, the budget is appalling. campaigns, brilliant. We just thought it was important to come along, give them a bit of solidarity. Some of the members here have actually backed us in their, our campaigns in the past, so it's just a right to come and give them a little bit of backing ourselves. It's a joy to come up and it's an honour to support our comrades. I work in schools, uh, you know, and I can see every day what happens uh, in different schools. Uh, I work full time as a union rep, um, so it's uh, it's heartbreaking really what's happening to our schools, what the future is for our children. Workers should be supporting each other fighting back. This could be the start of resistance against the Tories' attacks on comprehensive education generally. They're pouring billions into 
free schools, academies and grammar schools, while star starving state schools of funds. We think this is a major attack on our kids and working class education in general. That's why we're here today. Together, together, together we are stronger. Together, together, together we are stronger. Together, together, together we are stronger. Together, together. We've stayed strong, there's been so many of us stayed strong and people have said they can't believe how strong we've been for the period of time. I mean, we've been taking strike action for 10 months, obviously it went, it went on before then. Mm. The strike action's been 10 months and yeah, we've been really, really strong, stayed, stayed strong, uh, stayed together and our motto is together we are stronger. In 2013 we were prioritised from the NHS, the tender was awarded to KUK. They immediately attacked our terms and conditions and we battled for 90 days over six months in 2014 to win a little bit back. Not a lot, but we took a stance. Now these guys are facing the same. They're facing massive cuts, changes to terms and conditions, and we need to support them. It's solidarity all the way from the KUK strikers. It's absolutely critical that the lowest paid workers uh, uh, are supported, and not only supported, but actually mobilised and organised and become politically active, becoming active in the union and recognising that old cliche, you are the union. They are an inspirational campaign, them and Derby that follow them, and I think there's the Tories have declared a 3.3 billion pay cut in schools and declared their intent that the school needs now the new battleground alongside the NHS. This is a great moment for us, the trade unions, to say let's take on the Tories, let's organise this sort of thing on a national level and not leave it to branches to fight alone. As a fighting union, we support all workers in struggle. We're going into a brand new dispute on London Underground over um, the unfair sacking of one of our members in London Bridge who was attacked, defended himself and a pregnant colleague who'd been punched in the stomach. We're currently balloting members and unless the company reinstates him then that will end up in uh, another strike on the London Underground. from the leader earlier on this week basically saying that they were very very close to making a decision um, and issuing a proposal but at the end of the day that's still a long way from actually achieving what these workers need you know individual regrades people could lose out on that so you know we're looking as we always have been from day one is that nobody loses out same money for the same hours no change to contract and we continue as we are all I can say is wow what a turnout We'd like to start off by thanking everybody for their continued support, for coming from all across the country. You know, it's absolutely amazing to see so many coming out to support us. The late Dave Hopper and the German Miners Association had no problem at all in giving our full support to your, to your dispute, as you well know. And uh, this has caused some friction between uh, some people in, uh, in County Hall. So, uh, Let's get this dispute resolved and let's hope that all of us turn up the Dunham Big Meeting, the Gala, the Gala, and the Gala. Thank you very much. Being from Durham, most TAs have grown up with and alongside the miners' strike. And it means that they've grown up surrounded by strong women and grown up with a healthy disregard for authority so that when the council told us there was nothing they could do that we absolutely just had to accept it we knew that it was okay to say no way we're going to fight this and that's exactly what we've done we had a motto in the beginning which was nobody can do everything but everybody can do something so the real you see some of us up here all the time but the real strength in our campaign are the legions of people in the background turning up for demos, turning up for events, leafleting in the community, engaging with the public to explain uh, our cause, who are questioning councillors, lobbying MPs, filling in questionnaires, posting up comments on Facebook, sending emails. That's where our real strength lies. And one thing that we've absolutely learned in the last year, that if something feels fundamentally wrong and unjust, 
get up and do something about it. Don't walk by, don't wait for somebody else to sort it, because that somebody should be you. We're called a grassroots movement. Remember these things about grass. Grass gets trodden on, but it comes back. Grass gets turned to mush, but it comes back. Sometimes grass is turned over, but it comes back. That is our grassroots movement. Apparently in your brain you have something called epinephrine. And when you release epinephrine in your brain, right, it's about being courageous. It's about sticking with it when times are tough. And it's being brave enough to have a go when things are really, really difficult. And apparently this thing in your brain, it either makes you go absolutely crackers, which I've done. It makes you cry, which I've done. And, but if you can control it, it keeps you calm. And what they say it does, it takes you to the edge. And it gives you the courage to step off the edge. And I know with these ladies here and all of the TAs here and many other people in their walks of life, we've been put to that edge time and time and time again. And there's something called a learning pit. And if you fall into the pit, it's do you stop there and waller or do you get yourself up, do you shake yourself off and do you fight and get it right the next time? The first time I came here, when they say about this chemical in your brain, it must have been flooded because <laughs> my dad came up to listen to me speak and he said, I'll even read it. And I was in hysteria, right? Absolutely hysterics. And I said, I can't, I can't, do, I can't read it. I've got five words out. And then I lost all form of speech. And he sat there on the couch and went, do not show weakness. Do not show weakness. There are miners and union men. You will be laughed at. Do not show weakness. <laughs> I am right, Anna, Dad. I am right. <laughs> So I thought, Jesus, I bet not sure weakness, I best stick the rest of my eyeliner back on and crack on and get out there and speak. A big privilege to attend uh, one or two of your committee meetings and I've seen the frustration and the worry and sometimes the anger in the eyes of your committee members. And that's understandable because they've been involved over a year in mental torture. And I was a bricklayer. I know what it's like to work under the threat of the suck. And that's the most powerful weapon that an employer can use against you. The committee now had a handle on the negotiations. And I hope that's true. But you want to watch it. Because handles can fall off. <laughs> they can fall off. And it's sometimes useful to have a spare handle Handy. And that handle, if it contains direct action, is a strong one. And I think that's your I'm a teacher. I teach in a school in North Tyneside. It's for children with social, emotional and behavioural difficulties. It's a challenging environment. I mean, we teach mainly white working class boys, all who have been permanently removed from a mainstream setting. I'd like to tell you about someone called Pauline. She's got a hundred different jobs to do in the day. She does the morning toast. She takes care of any tears. She deals with extreme behaviors. She furthers children's learning, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. She's got a workload that sometimes feels like it never ends, but she's just got one job. She's a teaching assistant, and she's a teaching assistant in our classroom. The bond we have is very special, as we both know what each of us goes through every day, trying to provide the best for our children in a climate of continuing government cuts. Her job's far from easy, the rewards are not enough, her salary is too little. But let me tell you one thing, if she was to go on strike, like the teaching assistants in this county, well, I wouldn't be crossing her pickets. Our school support staff have been in dispute with Derby City Council since July 2015. Since June 2016, when the council imposed the changes to their terms and conditions, in, um, implementing 25% pay cuts, they have been taking direct action, which has equated to 67 days of industrial action. For the last <laughs> and they splintered the Labour group in Derby, and they have now the Labour group now have come forward and have said that they will support Derby school support staff. And as a direct result of the action that our members have been taking, the Labour group have helped 
us get a deal and our reps have agreed to suspend action while we ballot all of our members on it. As of the 1st of September, they will go back onto a 52-week contract. They will be paid for 52 weeks of the year for the work that they do. They will no longer... Method of support from John McDonnell, Shadow Chancellor. Yeah. Please pass on my unconditional support for your inspirational campaign. I am pleased to hear an offer is imminent. I expect this new offer will not be a cut in your pay. Solidarity. Wheeling Simon out to say, oh, we're very close to a resolution. It's far too little, too late. Because regardless of your national politics, in your local council, you need a councillor who will represent you on your local issues. We want to pay back the 57. When we've travelled up and down the country and we tell people that our council is sacking us and you get the, oh, that's the Tory cuts for you. And we say, no, it's not Tory cuts. This is Durham. It's Labour cuts. Yeah. It's Labour who has done this to us. We've got our votes on May the 4th, our elections. Might surprise you to know if every single TA voted, seven Labour councillors could lose their seats. If every single TA can persuade four of their friends and family who previously voted Labour to vote against them, Wait for it, we could get out over 50 of those Labour councillors. Just a word of warning, when this is over, it's not over. Because the budget cuts and the funding cuts that are coming to schools, the government's misguided policy of putting billions into free schools is going to decimate our schools. And we're going to have to really, really fight that. But this time we'll have a base to start from. Because it won't just be us. This time, we'll be standing alongside the teachers and the parents and the governors and the children because it's really, really worth fighting for. The future of our schools are at stake. My children went to London this week. We were at something called a Curiosity Conference, which is for children from deprived areas around the country. When they come to us, sometimes they can't string a sentence together. And my children stood up in a hall very similar to this and they did public speaking in front of 300 plus people. My children spoke about your future, what you would do in the future, how you would resolve um, difficulties, how would you would move forward. And again, I'm sat at the back, tears streaming, going, that's us, that's us, the kids are talking about us, but the children don't realise this. Children just take from you, and we put so much into these children. And to see my bands from Shil Shilden standing up in the, it's called the Ironmongers Hall in the City of London, to stand there and to speak far more confidently than I could do, with all the input they've had from many members of staff, not just TAs, but us TAs as well. That was the, something that memories are made of. And for me, standing here now with all of you people here and the people who are outside, this, to me, is what memories are made of. We're not going away. We absolutely have no intention on going away. We're going to stand together. We are going to fight until we've got no more fight. And I think I've said this before, and then we'll fight a little bit more. Because while I've got this epinephrine in my brain, which is going to take me to the edge time and time again, I'll go to the edge. And if I fall down, I'm getting back out. And if I've got to fall down 20 times, I'm getting back out. Because they're not going to defeat us. They're not going to win. We will succeed and we will stand together and continue in our fight. Yeah.